State Television Company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. 8,000 years old petroglyphs in Mersin, Cilicia. Armenian caucus leaders to introduce House resolution calling for Beko's release of Armenian captives. 25,154 explosive devices were found and neutralized in Artsakh. Rustam Badasyan presenting war crimes committed in Artsakh in Japan. Mine explosion in Syria has killed 18 people. Aram MP friend Gurgen Dabagyan presenting Tamzara with new interpretation. Today's International Women's Day. Interview with ethnographer Nalina Shamamian. A project called Prehistory of the Central Taurus Mountains is in the process of implementation with the permission of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism in the Mersim region, Cilicia. University scientists have the opportunity to work in the region in the framework of the project. About 15 petroglyphs, supposed to be 8,000 years old, were found during the excavations in Alata Valley, Erdemli province. The petroglyphs mainly present different geographical images of humans, animals, and have aroused great excitement among scientists. The scientists stress that they are similar to the petroglyphs of Mount Latmos, noting their importance. The discovered paintings may shed light on the unknown prehistoric period of Mersin in the historic Cilicia. The Armenian caucus of the U.S. Congress will present a resolution next week calling on Azerbaijan to release all Armenian captives. A new legislation will be introduced by congressional Armenian caucus leaders calling on Azerbaijan to immediately release over 200 Armenian prisoners of war and captured civilians illegally kept hostage over 100 days after the November 9th ceasefire statement between Azerbaijan and Armenia. The group of engineers, the miners of the humanitarian demining center of the Russian peacekeeping contingent, continue demining the territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. As Armen Press reports, citing the Ministry of Defense of Russia, 17 hectares of territory, 4 kilometers of road, were cleared in one day. In general, 1,623 hectares, 508 kilometers of road, 1,577 buildings, including 30 socially significant objects, were cleared of unexploded ordnance from November 23, 2020, and 25,154 explosive devices were found and neutralized. Armenia's Minister of Justice, Rustam Badasyan, is participating in the 14th UN Congress on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice in Kyoto, Japan, from March 5 to 11, 2021. Minister Badasyan touched upon the issues of hate speech, noting that this issue is urgent for Armenia, as the Armenian people have been victims of discrimination, persecution, hate crimes and genocide throughout history. The recruitment of foreign terrorists by Turkey, their subsequent deployment in the ranks of the Azerbaijani armed forces for hostilities against Artsakh is another serious crime committed by Azerbaijan and Turkey in gross violation of all international norms. Numerous pieces of evidence from relevant sources show that Turkey and Azerbaijan support and contribute to the spread of the terrorist threat in our region. Therefore, we believe that the international community should join efforts to counter this threat, to bring to justice the penetrators of this crime, said Rustam Badasyan, in this context welcoming the fact of the Kyoto Declaration addressing terrorism crime. At least 18 people have been killed and three have been injured during a mine explosion in Hama province, in the eastern part of Syria. The mines were established by terrorists, the Sana Syrian State Agency reported. According to the agency, the explosion took place in Wadi al Azib province near the Al Salamia city. Aram MP Free and Gurgen Dabagyan presented a joint work. As reported by Armen Press, they presented the Tamzara folk song with new interpretation. Nick Yagibyan did the musical instrumentation and Aramais Harapetyan has worked on the video animation. According to Komitas, Tamzara is a wedding song and dance where Gyoven Bashi and his assistant play the main roles. The bride stood next to the godfather. However, Tamzara has lost its former ritual significance and is performed at almost all events and parties of community. March 8 is International Women's Day. Achievements of women in politics, economics and social sphere are celebrated today. According to Kelland, Women's Day is not for equality but is for spring, for feminine beauty, tenderness, spiritual wisdom and attention to women in the modern world. This holiday received the status of International Women's Day by the decision of the UN in 1975. Dear women, we congratulate all of you on this beautiful holiday, wishing you health, happiness and new achievements. 
On Western Nermina TV, ethnographer, dance researcher Narina Shamamian presented work dances as a cultural phenomenon. The latter played their role in the lives of Armenians, mentioning that not all the territories of Armenian highlands had work dances which depended on the formation of creative and musical minds. She presented the work dances that are created from action that match music and dance moves with rhythm and pace. Work dances were more specific to Western Armenia, while Erishti is found in Eastern Armenia, mainly in the Shagap and Vanashen settlements inhabited by the people of Van. Now we present you Vanki Bolore by Zartonk Ensemble. Vanki Bolore, Chai Chimane, Bugala Mertun Serumerane, Bugala Mertun Serumerane, Serumerane, Bugala Mertun, Yestani Darnam, Duel Darnasu, Yestani Darnam, Duel Darnasu, Galatin Gahanda, Gahanda Angula, Megare, Megandre, Megambihula, Galatin Gahanda, Gahanda Angula, Megare, Megandre, Megambihula, Erains Gata, Entarin Chita, Gentgelar Yarnel, Acher Kunitka. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.